In today's video, we'll be going over maxillary lateral incisors. We'll be looking at tooth number 7 today. Maxillary lateral incisors calcify at 10 to 12 months, complete their crowns at 4 to 5 years, erupt at 8 to 9 years, and complete their roots at 11 years. Let's take a look at each aspect of this tooth. Here we're showing the facial aspect of the maxillary lateral incisor. You'll notice right off the bat that these teeth are smaller than the maxillary central incisors in every aspect except for root length. The disto incisal point angle is much more rounded than the meso incisal. In comparison to your central incisors, the laterals tend to have a more sloped disto incisal angle, as shown here, which can help with trying to differentiate between the two. There are three mammalons and two developmental depressions but these are less noticeable than those you'll see on the maxillary central incisor. A good way to remember the height of contours for the maxillary anterior teeth is using the mnemonic, I just jacked Michael Jackson's moped, which stands for incisal, junction, junction, middle, junction, middle, starting from the mesial and reading distally. Also note that the height of contours on the mesial will be in the junction of the incisal and middle third, and the height of contour on the distal is in the middle third. Let's look at the mesial. Here we see that the CEJ curves lower than it would on the distal. Let's now look at the lingual. The lateral incisors have the most developed lingual anatomy of all anterior teeth. The cingulum is more narrow on the lateral compared to the central incisor, and it's in the middle of the lingual surface. So this surface is the smoothest, and you'll barely notice the lingual fossa, or the cingulum. A clinical note here is the palatal radicular groove and lingual pits are potential areas for caries development. Let's take a look at the distal now. You can see the CEJ doesn't dip as low as it did on the mesial. The distal also has the largest anterior embrasure. Now let's take a look at the incisal. The incisal view shows greater convexity lingually and facially than central incisors, which tend to appear a bit flatter from this view. The incisal edge is straight and does not twist. Now let's take a look at the root structure and the pulp. The maxillary lateral incisor has one root and typically contains a single pulp chamber with three pulp horns. The root has a distal inclination and it's a bit sharper than the central. The maxillary laterals are also more likely to be bifurcated than the maxillary central incisors. That was our review of maxillary lateral incisors. Check out the rest of our dental anatomy videos on mydentalkey.com. The 3D images used in this video were brought to you by Bonebox. Bonebox is a great tool for learning dental anatomy. Check them out on the App Store today.